Hey, pop the trunk, I yeah. open up, I saw my soul a good price out of sight. You might hold God What's up, YouTube? Coming back real quick. It is July something. 12th, I think. Um, come back with a little update. Since my last video has been almost like three months, I think I made that last video at the end of May, May the May 20th area. Um, and since then, I haven't had a retwist. This is literally the longest time I've been without a retwist. So, um, I just came to update you see and tell y'all, like, and show y'all how it really is sometimes. Like, but this is really the longest I've been without a retwist. It's summertime, I've been working out. I've been working and I've been um like going to water parks, getting in pools and stuff. But I've been washing my hair throughout. But I just wanted to come show y'all what it really looks like. So I'm gonna take my little head wrap off. This is how I sleep. I put it in a little bun on top and I put this little thing on. Try to drop it, it's still kind of wet because I went to a, a water park yesterday and I need to wash it, but I want to show y'all before I washed it, how it looks. And here's a little view of it. It's, I don't know, it's wet right now, but it looks, it's a little bad. My parts are bad, like all my dress is starting to lock together and it's really time for a retwist. Today I'm gonna wash it and I'll see about getting a retwist or trying to at least part it myself because it's getting real bad, but I'm gonna try to show you all the way around what it looks like. And like, especially in the back, the back is really like, the dress are locking together. So I really need to get that taken care of quickly before they, you know, actually lock together. And people be ripping my hair apart, so can't have that. But um, yeah, three months almost. This is as long as I've been without a retwist. During the time I did wash my hair in between, I kept my two strand twist in for about three weeks. I wouldn't suggest keeping it in that long because you know your hair gets nasty. But I kept it in for three weeks. Um, after I took it out, I wore it like crinkly, and then I washed it one time, and then I was on YouTube looking at dread videos, of course. And I decided to do a deep condition and a hot oil treatment one day. I didn't record videos of it. I should have, but next time I will. Um, but it was really nice to have my hair like really clean during that deep condition and hot oil treatment. It was like, it made it so much thicker to me. Like my hair was thick, it felt healthy, it smelled healthy, everything. So I really like that. I'll do it again probably before school starts back next month. Um, but right now I'm really just focused on focused on getting a retwist. I haven't been doing much. I, like I haven't been anywhere important besides work, so I haven't been stressed to get a retwist. Um, I usually don't like going anywhere with my hair like this, so I'll wear a hat whenever I can. The only place I really can't wear a hat is work, so for work I just put it back in the ponytail. But this is terrible to me. It might not look too bad to some people, but this is terrible. My hair is locking together. It it needs to be retwisted. Um, I'm gonna watch it now, and I'll be back for the second part of the video to show you how it looks. All right, I'm back. Um, I just washed and conditioned my hair. Um, I'm gonna give you a little peek and see how it looks after the wash and retwist. A little top view. And the back. Um, it really feels very refreshing to like wash your hair and condition it and like get all that chlorine and everything out your hair after you've been out in pools and stuff and out in the sun sweating. Um, but I really needed this retwist, so I'm gonna 
hit some people up and see about getting that done today. Um, but I did want to show y'all some products I picked up when I did my hot oil treatment, my deep condition. I can't show you the deep condition because it was a mask and I threw it away. But I picked up some new shampoo and conditioner from Walmart. And these are like some, they're natural ingredient shampoo and conditioner. So I guess it's better for your hair. But it really, they really do feel great compared to my last conditioner, shampoo and conditioner, but yeah, I, I recommend these. It's just a a nice little package and it smells like very nice. Um, as far as oils, I got tea tree oil, some olive oil, and black castor oil. And those were the only three I got just because I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on oils just for a hot oil treatment that I don't do too often. But after that hot oil treatment, it really, like, my hair really felt good. It, it felt way different than doing just a normal wash and condition and retwist. Um, I didn't retwist after the hot oil treatment, but it, like, my hair just felt great for a while. It just, I don't know, it, it felt livelier. Um, oh, I got this applicator bottle. And what I did was I just poured my different oils in this bottle and I boiled some water and I just like stuck the bottle in there. I, had, I held it and just held it for like five minutes so the oils get real hot and just applied it to my hair. Then um, put some shower caps on there and let it sit for like five minutes and then I just washed all the oils out. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try to get a retwist and maybe I'll come back with an update after the retwist. I'm not sure if I can because my normal stylist, she's out of town on vacation right now. Um, she's been working this summer as well, so it's been hard to like schedule times to actually get my hair done. But I'm going to try to see if I get someone to do my hair. Other than that, I don't have anything for you guys. Just um, If you have any questions, just comment. Um, make sure you like and subscribe videos and you know send them around to your friends so they can see. But that's all I have for you right now. If you have anything that you want me to like, update you on let me know thank you